Just having work orders in your work order system isn't enough. You need a complete and organized equipment registry. Infor EAM gives you a tool to help organize repairable assets. Using the equipment structure function in Infor EAM, you can organize your equipment to help with navigation, reporting, and even work order generation. Equipment are divided into several types in Infor EAM. You can add additional types, but typically most companies focus on out-of-the-box options. The top level of the equipment structure is the system record. This is a way to group equipment that works together. You can create subsystems in the structure to help define where assets are located. In one example, a production building could be a system divided into production lines, each listed as a subsystem. You can also write work orders against systems. The next step is the position record. A position is an engineering location or placement for an asset within a system. This could be a pump skid, a placement for a valve, or even a motor frame. You can also write work orders against positions, just like systems. The asset is the actual repairable equipment record. This is what your technicians see and repair. You can also create a parallel structure for locations. A location in Infor EAM is simply where you'll find a system, position, or asset. It's like a map location. By organizing your equipment in a system-to-asset structure, you can take advantage of many functions in Infor EAM. A good equipment structure allows you to organize all of your equipment in a logical construction, and not just for independent systems. You can organize all equipment in one facility, or across multiple locations, in a single structure tree. You can roll up costs to man hours for reporting. Work order costs on assets roll up to parent positions and systems. You can create a report for an entire production line or building by generating a report against a single system record, instead of trying to add up costs against individual assets. The structure allows you to roll meter readings down to subordinate equipment. Within a production line or other system, such as a large vehicle, you don't have meters on every asset. You can assign a meter to a higher level system and then have the readings roll down to linked assets. By doing this, you can create meter-based PM schedules for equipment that don't have attached physical meters. And the structure will help simplify navigation. When someone creates a work request or work order, that person may not know the actual asset name. By searching through the structure, instead of a list of equipment, work orders become a lot easier to create and to release. You need to plan out your structures before linking equipment and in for EAM. In these simple examples, systems are divided into subsystems, and you can link assets to any level within the system. You can also add positions within the system to better locate assets, or to roll up costs from hot swap equipment linked to the position. This is good for repairable motors or valves. You can report on a full history of motor swaps against the position, but also maintain a history on each individual motor. You may also want to create a location structure. This is a separate structure from systems and assets. By linking equipment to a location, the physical placement of the equipment will print on work orders or appear on EAM Mobile. Locations are very useful for facilities maintenance or when equipment is spread out across a wide geographic area. Thank you for your time today to review this short topic in Infor EAM. If you'd like more information or a site discovery visit, please contact us at sales at eamsolutions.net. We look forward to helping you get the most from N4EAM.